there's no such thing as a typical entrepreneur. And, as the dragons are soon to find out, the next duo are proof that the den is always full of surprises. Hello, dragons. My name is Hugh Roper, and I'm the founder of Torch in Europe. My name's Nathan. I'm the creator of Torch, uh, a new brand of lit apparel for urban cyclists. We're here today to offer you the opportunity to invest £75,000 for 10% of our equity in Torch Europe. So, this is our first product for Torch. There's three things that make this unique for cyclists. Uh, the first being that we have lights integrated into the helmet. What makes it unique also is the fact that they are visible from 360 degrees for the cyclist. The second thing is it is the first helmet to have rechargeable batteries. The global cycling market is valued at over 50 billion pounds a year. To give you a feel for the size of the UK market helmet-wise, there are over one and a half million helmets sold a year. So, so we'd like to just give so you a... With that said, we'd like to, to uh, give you a chance to check them out. And we'd be happy to answer any questions regarding the product or the business. An illuminating pitch from business partners Hugh Roper and Nathan Wills. They want £75,000 to help fund their expansion plans for their cycling gear come safety lights venture. But telecoms tycoon Peter Jones has something on his mind. I think this is a first in the den. I believe it probably is. But not for the reason you're thinking. <laughs> I think this is the first time that we've been pitched a really great product for a reasonable amount of money by a multimillionaire. Hugh, let's explain. Okay. You're the multimillionaire. We, I know you. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. You're known so, in the industry that you were previously in. Yeah. You did well. Selling to Carfin Warehouse. Why, why do you why, why do you need us? Um, the purpose of being before you is to seek your input in terms of helping accelerate people's brand awareness of our products, our company. So you're more here for the PR then. PR is part of it for sure, but I'm also here because I thought it would be quite fun to do business with one of you guys. And how did you guys meet? What's what's the connection? Well, I, I found Nathan as a result of just searching around the internet for a product similar to this. And um, I just dropped him an email saying, hello, you don't know me, I'm Hugh, I think your products are great. <laughs> I'm an investor, might be interested. Did you so, just think, oh my God, this is the most incredible phone call ever? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was an attractive partnership, I thought. Well, it looks great. Thank you. Hugh, Nathan, I've got a million questions. <laughs> Launch. I, I've got eight helmets at home. Okay. They all sit on a shelf. Mm -hmm. And would I add one of these? So, one question is the, the price point. Well, our, our retail direct-to-consumer through our website is for 85 pounds. Yeah. And what's a, a typical commuter helmet cost? It's nowhere near 80. Um, typically, you can get a range anywhere from, I would say, 20 pounds up to a couple hundred. So we're, we're basically mid-range for that. But the advantage of this is you take the cost of a helmet and the cost of a set of lights, and when you combine them, we're usually under that cost. Yeah, but you buy the lights on a bike, which are run by a dynamo. They work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You just put them back on dynamo. The dynamo charges the lights, and the lights come on. Your helmet could run out of light, and somebody could be stuck out where it start with no lights. Well, no, one, no one's used a dynamo for quite some time on a bike. Oh, how do they charge them, man? Batteries. Batteries, which is a good question. How many times can you recharge the batteries in here? Uh, right now, the manufacturer has stated that a thousand cycles. Okay. And it's got two charging points, is that...? It does, it does. It's a USB. Right, okay. So you're giving me the wire. So it's two points USB. So you can charge it from a laptop. You can charge that from a phone charger. It's very... well done. It's very neat. Have you got my size? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's absolutely beautiful. I can't bear helmets normally. They just, they make people look geeky and they're ugly, but it's lovely and I think the branding is beautiful. Thank you. Thanks. What's wrong? <laughs> it's all too good. <laughs> <laughs> 
praise for the product, but will the old adage that if something sounds too good to be true, then it probably is, prove to be the case for Peter Jones? I can tell you, I really I do like it immediately, and I'm not a keen cyclist. <laughs> um, have you got protection on it? Yes, we have uh, patent protection on the helmet. Have you got the patent here? Uh, we do, yes. actually. Yeah. Do you mind if I have a look at it? Absolutely. Thanks, Nathan. You're welcome, thank you. feels like you've just put a pin in me. How so? I was feeling that perhaps you've got a utility patent for lights on a cycle helmet. Yeah. But you haven't, have you? No, you, you can't. What's the patent for, Pierre? It's, a, it's basically a design. So if you change the light or change anything, the look and feel of it, anybody can do it's, it. It's design, but you can change the design to yeah. in a slightly different Correct. way. Correct. That's yeah, it. But there's some big players that could... There are, but... How long will it take a decent-sized company to integrate lights? It, I would say that it's definitely doable, and that's, you know, the whole, the whole point with this is to be the first to market. No, but you can see the excitement when you talk about that, and then I know that you've got a, a multimillionaire backer as well. Sure. It became quite exciting, whereas now I think that your design and your works are still exciting, but not perhaps to the same level. A first painful blow for the entrepreneurs as their lack of patent leaves their product vulnerable to competition. It's a revelation that leaves the pair vulnerable in the den. When you walked in earlier, I just loved the branding, loved the look of the helmets. Everything about it was fantastic. I'm all about design. That, to me, was just an extraordinary melange of something that I would want to be a part of. However, the patent is just not there, and it's just not an investable business for me. But I think you will be very successful, and I think anything you touch, if this is what you've designed so far, you're very, very creative. But I'm afraid I won't be investing, so I'm out. No cash from Kelly Hoppen, as the product's lack of protection puts her off investing. What conclusion has Deborah Meaden reached? Guys, I think it's really neat. I often say, I just, I've just got to see the map. I've just got to think, right, I know what I can do with this. You know, I, I know how I, can, how I can help, but I don't ride bicycles. I've got no idea. So I'm, I might as well tell you now, I'm out. Thank you for your feedback. Thanks. And when you first came in, I, I did think silently, this is it. But seeing the design pattern, I realise it's, it's not. So on that basis, I'm going to say that I'm out. But I wish you both every success. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I, I am a little bit concerned that there's no patent protecting the actual facility and, and, and more designs can come up. But I, I think, you know, if there's an actual investor here today, it might be peers, but it's certainly not me. So um, I'm going to clear myself out. Tense times for the entrepreneurs as four dragons turn their back on a deal. It's now all down to Piers Linney. Will he be guided by his love for bikes or his head for business? This is so annoying. <laughs> I'd love to. <clears throat> um, I mean, a lot of it's been said. I think, although functionally it's very good and it's beautiful, I probably wouldn't buy one because to me it's a bit geeky. It's a bit of the guy who's got mirrors on his bike. And Would you like to see the Midnight Edition? Oh, go on then. Can't say no. What's the difference? This is... Tinted yeah. lenses. Oh, yes. Yeah, so... Wow. Uh, so this is your stealth version? Yeah. With the tinted... We, we limited that one on Kickstarter and it sold out within the first two weeks. So we've... We're trying to decide, do we, do we keep it as a limited thing and make it special? Uh, or do we just make it available to who, really whoever wants? That's the one my son likes. He's, uh, he's a big scooterer as well. And uh, that's another market. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, that's probably it's more like it. It doesn't look as like I've got lights on my head, everyone. Yeah, it's not as a bit cooler.
pains me, but I'm out. Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Well done, Bye. guys. Defeat, as Piers Linney's exit brings an end to the entrepreneur's hopes of investment. So gutted. Now it's back to plan B, of forging ahead without a dragon on board. I think it was good. It was we, can always, we can always do more work on patents moving forward. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. I'm comfortable. Well done. Good job. They said they had that patent. I thought, yes. It's beautiful, it's, it's though. Good, the design good is stunning. Yeah, it's good looking.